What is up guys? Jake from Done Right Games here with a long awaited update video. I apologize. I've been telling y'all it's coming and uh, it, I wasn't lying. It's just uh, I was waiting on something. We'll get to that in a minute. Don't have it for you today, but I got something to make up for it. Um, get right into it. Don't waste your time. We have been super focused at Done Right at, on getting ready for the investor meeting. It's coming up this coming weekend. Obviously not today or tomorrow, but the next weekend, the 23rd of February, we're going to be sitting down with people from all over the world. Uh, we got a guy flying in from Dubai. We've got a lot of people coming in, but it's only representing about a third of the people that are interested. Um, obviously, some of the people aren't able to fly in that particular weekend or just can't travel, uh, but are still interested. So we're going to be doing phone calls and, and stuff with them to get all the information out to all these people that are uh, potentially investing. And that's what we're trying to keep it that way. It's not that we don't have other options. We do. We got some other contacts, people that we're talking to that are more traditional, you know, angel investors or, um, or, or, you know, venture capitalists, essentially. But we wanted, we really want to, Bata and I, we talked about it initially, uh, to give people a chance. You know, if you had a chance to go back and invest in Supercell, obviously you would have done that. I would have done it. You know, if you knew, again, if it was a company that you believed in and you had the disposable income to take a chance and to hopefully have something big happen, that's a once in a lifetime chance. People don't get, people, regular people, don't get to invest in startups that have a chance to make it big. And I think all you guys that are watching this video that are possibly supporting us, uh, whether it be financially or just can't wait for the game to come out, beta test, download, whatever it may be, uh, crowdfunding, I think you guys understand that that's something that if you could, you probably would do. And that's what we want to give a chance to these people to do. So we're trying our best to keep it there, but obviously it's a numbers game. we got to get enough to, to launch the game. The team that we're going to hire is in place. It's just a matter of getting the funds raised, getting them hired, getting them on location, and getting the game really uh, the, the starting to put finishing touches on it, actually developing the game to the point where we can beta test it and whatnot. So that's what, that's all we've been doing. Uh, Bato and I, especially Bato, he's, run, he's the numbers guy. He's, he's, he's really putting together a presentation for these guys. It's going to be like an all-day event. Uh, then on the side of that, he's actually going to have sort of more of an elevator pitch, which you would use for someone that's on the phone or that's not going to be there that day. But regardless, that's where our focus has been. And we want to try to keep it that non-traditional route uh, and give people a chance because it could be something that, that really changes their lives. Uh, we'll see. We'll do the best we can. Um, speaking of, if you are coming to the investor meeting and you haven't signed an NDA yet, reach out to us. Let us know uh, because obviously we'll have to get that signed or if we're, you're going to be on a phone call later. Anyways, everyone's got to sign the NDA. So if you ha don't have a copy of that, we should have one in the email. But if not, let me know. We'll get you one. Um... We are going to be going, Bato and myself uh, are going to be going to the Gamers Developers Conference at the end of the end of March in San Francisco. If any of you guys that are investing or really anybody that's just in that area or is possibly attending wants to meet up, wants to hang out, talk games and stuff, we're going to go try to, uh, you know, meet a lot of different people there. Um, it's a big, it's it's not like a, a gaming conference. It's a developers conference. Uh, but Bato and I are going to try to attend that at the end of March San Francisco. Uh, so let me know if you're going to be around, especially if you're one of the potential investors that maybe not couldn't make the trip and you're in that area, hit us up and we'll try to work it out where possibly we can meet up there. Uh, the one thing that I wanted to, I was sort of holding off this video for is the logo. Man, we, I've been working with uh, Creative Creative Grenade, the guys that did my my logo for, for One Hive, uh, did an awesome job. I think we're going to have a really cool, slick logo for the company. Obviously, we don't have a logo for the game yet because the game's not even named, so it'd be hard to do a logo. But uh, for the for Done Right Games, uh, trying to have a logo out, and I want to sort of reveal it in this video. It's not quite done yet. A few tweaks yet to be made, uh, but they're working on it, and probably in this next week we'll have that. I'll, I'll tweet it out. So if you're not following me on Twitter, uh, follow me there, or Done Right Games. We're going to do that and get some cool-looking graphics for the Done Right, Done right Twitter logo so it looks a little bit more professional, a little bit more legit. Uh, but that's coming, and then what we're probably going to do with that new logo is maybe do some gear giveaways, uh, maybe some hoodies, maybe some t-shirts, who knows, some hats, whatever, in the coming, let's say, months. I don't know, say, the next week it's going to happen, but we'll have some some things, comment, you know, on the videos, stuff like that, some, some different ways maybe that you guys following uh, Done Right Games, uh, Twitter, different things like that, maybe give away a few, uh, few sweet gear that will be sort of OG, original stuff, like first run type stuff that you'll have uh, from here on out. So, be looking for that. Uh, it's going to be cool. The logo is going to be nice. The last thing I want to touch on for this one, it's a pretty short video today, but the last thing I want to touch on is the lore of the game. Um, a lot of people get into lore 
and I'm not necessarily one of them, but I like it, if that makes sense. I'm not like super into lore, but I know that a, a good story, a good game needs lore, you know what I mean? And it's not that hard to do. Uh, we obviously have a general storyline for the game. We know which what the direction is. Hey, here's what's happening in the world. Here's what needs to be done. But we're looking for someone who really has that um, that flair for the dramatic, that way to put those details in that really pull people into the story. So if you think that's you or you know someone that that's sort of their thing, they got they've got that creative bone and they're good at writing. Uh, let us know because we're gonna we're gonna find someone to do that. Potentially hire someone. Uh, that wants to help write the lore for the for the game uh, as as it launches, and then who knows, possibly a potential position there uh, going forward. So if you are that person or you know someone, reach out, hit me up on email. Uh, obviously, uh, email will be in the description, and potentially could be something uh, that's pretty cool to get involved in. Uh, the last thing I want to do to make up for the lack of the logo is give you a little leak. Let me pull it up on my screen here so I don't look at what I'm looking at. And what this is is just a building, just a con again. We're trying to go with that style, as you can see here. It's not, it's not super realism, but I don't think it's super cartoony either. Um, it's more of that stylized version. And I'm going to go ahead and give you a two for one. Uh, obviously, just like in, in all these base building games, uh, you're going to be able to upgrade your stuff, and you'll see the idea there. Just a little, you know, before and after. Uh, going from from maybe level one to level two type thing, things will just get bigger, better, a little bit cooler looking as you go through the game. That includes troops, heroes, um, obviously buildings. Um, who knows what all we'll be able to do? And again, this stuff is going to be uh, there's going to be skins, guys. There's going to be awesome skins for almost everything in this game. Things that you can purchase and 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 make your your village, your heroes, your troops look different than everyone else's. So I know you guys are pumped about that. But a little sneak peek for you there. Uh, I will wrap it up here. Can't wait to see some of y'all next weekend. Again, uh, end of March, March 20-something, 20, 20, I can't remember, 20th, 21st, 22nd, somewhere in that time frame, uh, Gamers Developers Conference at, uh, excuse me, Gaming Developer Conference at uh, San Francisco. If you're going to be in the air, hit me up. Until next time, guys, hopefully I will have some awesome news for you. Uh, after the end of next week, maybe the start of, of March, some uh, some idea of if we're, if we're successful in this funding round and get this thing, the rest of the team hired, and man, it's going to start getting fun. All right, guys, till next time. Peace.